Well, all right, YouTube, everybody wanted to see my chickens and my chicken tractor. So we're going to go over here and give them a special little treat and check them out. What's up, Enrique? These are our black Australorps. And this is our Leghorns. This is their new little chicken tractor we built for them. They're really loving it. Here. You want to give them a treat and take care? Yeah. They're cool. All right. We got a special I'm treat for them. No, no, I know. Just tuck it, Val. There's a rope right there to tuck it. No. Oh, a hammer to me. Right. Oh, they're going to work. They're looking like they're really excited. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here, you want to put some in the side, whoa, Mom? Whoa. Yeah, sure. Sweet. All right, girls, you ready? You ready, Chicken Chicken? Mom, I know it's going to be cute. Hey, hey. Mom, what, I can call you how it's done. Okay. I have to go like that. Daddy, why? Why is that enough? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this tractor worked out real nice. Super inexpensive. It's working out real good. I'm gonna make two more just like it. I think you want to give these guys a few little fishies? Yeah. Hey, guys, hey. Just put them through the hole. They're not going to eat it like the white ones. You just got to put it in there. You need to get some feed for these guys. Okay. They're not coming to me. Hey, Val, we can get that in a minute. Okay. Son, I told you they don't want it. You have to push it in there. They're new. They're not going to eat yet. There you go. I think we're being summoned over here. Pretty sure. What's up, Adriana? What are you doing over there? What's up, guys? Oh, my goodness. Hey, baby. Wow. This is our... This is big The boy. beginning of our little... Backyard pig coop here. I love to have my little pig work. pen. We're gonna be expanding out this way. The water. And Miss Waddles, yes. 
Water. Making three more stalls just like this one. Daddy, I'm Dad Ferdinand. Daddy? Dad? What's up, Waddles? Dad, I can get um, some mahogany. Get to the piggy, Dad. Yes, you can. Yeah. Oh, boy. What's up, big boy? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, we probably need to. Okay. That's enough. We'll get. Let me give you that. We're gonna give him something else. Okay. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh boy. Waddles is wanting that. This is big boy. There's mahogany. Yeah, she's a pretty girl. That's our newest addition right there. That's Ferdinand. Oh my goodness. Look at you, Waddles. Yes. I think they'll pound it. No, I think they know what mommy's got going on over here. Let's go check it out. What's going on, kids? Need to want more pitty. Yeah. What's up, Waddles? I need to want more pitty. No. <laughs> Big boy. And there's mahogany. All right. I think they're ready. <laughs> what is it, Waddles? I gotta apologize for the video. This is just on my phone. We're working on getting that straightened out. Here we go, kids. I got hey. more. I got more. Hey, look, I got the big stuff. All right, Mama got the big one. There you go. Yeah, he gets pushed around. Waddles always seems to get to eat peacefully. Mm hmm. What's up, Waddles? That's Ferdinand. That's Big Boy. And there's Mahogany. That's their feeder back there. They're on continuous feed, but we like to give them some treats. They're very needy. Pens roughly 20 by 30. That's their pool. That's their automatic water. They got two nipples on there. Hi. What is it, Ferdinand? 
We actually started with a smaller bedding area in the back. When we started with the first two little pink ones. And that's just a small tarp draped over the corner with some OSB plywood around the sides. We stuffed that with hay. Then it started to warm up a little bit. We had some sunburn issues with the pink ones. So we put up this big tarp over top to give them a double layer roof and expand their shaded area. And of course they love the pool. It just got cleaned out. We got a little motion sensor light. They're not very interested right now. This is their, their double-sided feeder. Hold well over 50 pounds of feed. Probably close to 100. It's double-sided. Helps keep them split up a little bit so they don't fight as much. Jealous because she's not getting a massage. Mm hmm. Okay, you both can have one. No. Oh no. You're What's coming. up, Ferdinand? Oh no. See how good the massage yep, yep. feels? There goes Big Boy. He's down. Oh. Hey. Look at him. I'm the pig masseuse. Mm -hmm. Baby. <laughs> oh, big boy, he just loves it. <laughs> what is Ferdinand doing? Who knows? <laughs> hey, 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 what a dog! Dog! Don't bite me. Bad water. All right, big boy. Look. What you doing, Ferdinand? You're a mess, little man. Mm -hmm. What's up, mahogany? They want to get a hiding eel. Yeah, I need to wash her again. Waddles. She needs another bath. Get a bag of dirty. This little portion right here behind their neck is like rock solid. He's passed out. Oh, is he? He loves to have his neck rubbed. Loves it. Oh, he didn't give him a toy. I'm so oh, mahogany. Mahogany yeah, mahogany looks like she's got a full belly. She's ready for a nap. I I'm sorry I had to stop, big boy. Look at that belly. Yeah. yeah. I can play with the ball. She likes to play with the ball a little bit. Mm -hmm. Looks like they've been in the pool today. Mm -hmm. Did you go swimming, mahogany? Yeah, somebody was in there. Did you go snorkeling? They're all passed out over here now. Wake up! Wake up! Wake Don't up. wake him up, son. Let him sleep. He's tired. No walk. It's okay, son. It's no big deal. The hog in the neck. Oh, well, come on. Oh. Look at that belly, my goodness. Oh, look at what? Oh, Tinga, wake up! That is going to be some nice bacon right there, big boy. <laughs> That's where the bacon comes from, right here. Oh, nice. Oh, hey, buddy. What is a mahogany? Whoa! That pot! What is a mahogany? Basketball, but every season. What are you doing, Chica? Wait, She's doing her yoga. Our yoga? Yeah. He did Kika. Pig yoga. Yep. Yeah. Big Kika. Oh, it's all right, big boy. 
Go back to sleep, son. Go back to sleep. There you go. Oh, my tummy's so full. Ferdinand fading. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. My tummy's so full. Oh, geez, here come a good part. Oh, I'm just giving out love. You never want any. Mahogany is coming in right about a hundred pounds. As soon as she's good to go, we're probably going to uh, do some artificial insemination on her. I've seen some really beautiful boar studs online. I'd like to see what we can make out of our product here. And then Ferdinand, the little black guy there, whenever he's ready, <laughs> Waddles right there, she's only 25 pounds. But someday, Ferdinand will breed her and we'll see what we get there. And then Big Boy, we love him, but he's just bacon. He's destined for the freezer. Just give him the best life he can possibly have. Mm -hmm. As a thank you for taking care of us. You know, they get to live free and comfortable. Swimming pool, yeah, swimming pool, all the dirt and roots they could want, shade, plenty of room to play. Not all jammed up in a pen. What's up, Mahogany? What up, Mahogany? Dad? Dad? You may really think it's long to get talk to Oh, boy. Sierra? Yeah. I'll go through that. Ooh. Look at them, huh? Yeah, you see them on the camera there? Yeah, you can see my hand on the camera. I can. I can see you on the camera, buddy. <laughs> yep. When I set all this here, we've got it marked off in the process of staking it out. I'm going to create three more pens. Three more pens. They're all going to be the same, roughly the same size as that one. We're going to divide one of the pens in half so that Ferdinand can have his own little areas. And then I've got some deer plot seed. My plan is, as soon as I move these guys out of here, we're going to come back through with the grading rank. Just kind of smooth it out a little bit, get rid of some of these big roots that they've pulled up, and then we're going to seed this with that deer plot feed mix, and it's got all kind of stuff in it, radishes, uh, beans, kale, clover, and we're going to get this whole area going real good for them, and then we're going to do the same thing throughout. And the plan is, as they rotate out of one to give it a rest, that'll allow the ground cover to return and cover back up with lots of good forage for them to eat. And then while they move into another area, and all this is going to be planted with forage crops. And then every time they move out of a pen, then we'll touch up the forage seed and they'll probably have a month, maybe a little bit longer in between rotations so that there's so many pens they'll be able to move around and allow pens to recover. 
and this way we'll constantly keep nice fresh green forage in there for them. Little black ostrilorps over here. Just got these guys right here. We got 10 of them from a local farm and they had a very rough night before we bought them. And I'm very amazed that we haven't lost any of them. They all seem to have done really good, doing strong, healthy. But all these girls here, they were all in this tractor. We just got done building this one. We still have some finishing touches to do and some detail work. I'm going to do a couple modifications. But all in all, I think it's a solid design. Very lightweight. Plenty of room. As you can see inside, this thing's probably seven foot tall. They've got two perch boards in there, which they love. That's where they sleep. Down the sides is where the nesting boxes are going to go. And they've got a hanging feeder there and hanging water. This was very simple, very inexpensive. Gives them plenty of shade, plenty of room. Ten by eight. Like I said, probably seven foot tall. No problems getting in and out of it. They stay nice and safe, protected. So far, no problems with predators. Then we just drag it 10 feet. They just got over here, so they're just starting to work this over. Trying to work this over, so we'll give them a few days, see how it goes. And then we'll just pull this 10 feet. It's real easy. I can pull it, my wife can pull it, my daughter can pull it. It's not a big deal. I got these leghorns from Tractor Supply. I ordered them online. They came 10 in a box. They did real good. Probably the second night, third night we had them out here. Unfortunately, they were in that one there before I put the utility wire up. And they had a tendency of sleeping right in the corner of it. And I'm guessing a cat. We have a cat that likes to walk along the back of the property there and I'm thinking that cat came out here at night and reached in and put claws on each side of its tail. We tried to doctor it up for three or four days and it started to do a little better and then just finally just gave up. So we lost one of the ten. We got nine. These are fantastic egg laying chickens. High producers. This is the back of the chicken tractor. I left the bottom open for airflow. We'll do some changes on the side here. I'm going to make a curtain that runs down the length and it's attached running down the length of the tractor here so that we can just roll it up during the day, when the sun gets too much on one side, we can drop one side. If it's raining, we can drop both sides. We're in Florida, so cold isn't too big of a problem.
Oh man, they sure do love those perch boards. When they're younger, I just use sticks. But as they get a little bit bigger, I like to switch to some sort of flat board so they can stand on a little better. They seem to be a little stabler and seem to enjoy it more. These guys here, they're all huddled up over there. They've knocked their food over what was left of it, so they probably need some more. And as you can see, I got the utility wire on the bottom, so nothing can get in. Haven't had any problems since I put that up. And like I said, this is just an awning off of the front of a commercial building that I've had laying around the yard for quite a few years. We just wrapped it up in chicken wire. These are movie blankets. We just had a bunch of them laying around. And we use them to just kind of shift the sunshade around. And then at night, we drop it down all the way around on one end so they have a fully secured area. It's just a little PVC frame and PVC gate. I cut out a hole and just zip tied that in. We're getting ready to get some Americanas. They lay blue eggs. And we're going to make another big tractor put these guys in and pretty soon once the Americanas come out of my little brooder setup I got going on they'll be going into here let's see we get this feeder out of here these feeders here are just about useless such a small amount of food. This is just some zip ties here, just to keep a little tension there. Let me get these guys some food. They've got plenty of water still, looks like. So, the water I made, it's out of a big apple juice jug and a baking dish that the kids used out here in the yard. I hot glued the jug to the pan, put a small hole in the bottom, it works perfect. I definitely need to upgrade this feeder. Because it is only good for the little chicks in the brooder. Once they're about this size, they wipe it out pretty good. Dad, What's up, buddy? Uh, you want to uh, play soccer with me? Soccer? Sure. I got to get the chicky some food unless you want to get me some. Well, mommy already that. Oh, mommy's already going to get chicky food? Yeah. Great. So that'll work. You eating a popsicle, buddy? Huh? You eating a popsicle? Yeah. Yeah. Good stuff? Cool. You like your boots? Ah. Cool. What's up, guys? There's Mama bringing some chicken feed. I got some scratch and some egg layer feed. All right. We can put the crumble in that. Ferdinand, you're not going to be over, dude. What are you doing, buddy? Your mom's not a footstool. My goodness. Oh, my. 
You in the lounge chair, buddy? Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, we'll get off your mom so she don't get her back hurt. Ooh, yeah. Come here, babies. Come on, got food. I just kind of half-assed, stuck that on there. Come here, babies. Come here. They made a hole right here. Yeah, that's where it was upside down. I think they were just trying to peck and dig at it. I hope they become the sweeter birds they're supposed to be. Yeah, they're, I say they're very traumatized. So. Oh, yeah, oh, poor things. Now. They'll come around. Becky! I didn't want to. Yikey, yikey! Give me right, up, give me up. I'll take that. No, Mommy is not a horseback ride. These guys are still good on crumble if you just want to throw them some scratch feed. Scratch me to the chickies. You can throw some to the ostrichs. Hey, right here. Yeah. We're going to tie this. Can we tie them on? Yeah. Let me do it. Oh, hold on, Let's I'm going to let you chill out for a second. Let's right. open this Wait, cup, have yeah. go in there? You want to go in there and feed them? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Hold with one hand. Ready? Yeah. Mm. Open. Come right, in, everybody. Go in there quick. Gotta close the gate. All right, and they can spread it around for him. You want, you want the yummy peas? Yeah. Come on, you guys. Ah, I think they're liking it. Yeah. They do. Hey, hey, you want some? You want some? Well, look at that. That'd be a nice little treat for them up there. When they hop up there, they're gonna ooh, surprise. Good job, buddy. That was perfect. They're all over that chicken scratch right there. Yeah, I don't think they've realized they've got... Hey, no. I see that, man. That's really nice. As soon as they find that, they're going to get up there and eat it all. Throw some on the ground, buddy. Okay. Uh, you want some? Oh. Well, hello there. Let's see if they found their feet. Okay, tell everybody how old you are. Good. How old are you? Cool. Ah! Kick him! Here, kick him! Hey, you! All right, buddy, that's probably enough. Come on. Hey, we have a little bit left. That's fine, we can save it. Oh, looks, oh, they found your chicken feed up there. I want to eat it. I can't make it. All right. It's amazing. Oh. They found it.
pull that, please? How is that because I'm going to lay on a field? Super tall. Yeah. Superhero power. <clears throat> How about we don't touch those at all? Okay? Thank okay, you. Yeah. All right, buddy, come on. But I have to see this. You can see it from out here. Come on, little man. Daddy, the pound it. Don't yep, they found it. Don't fall. Yo, man, you all right? Don't pound it. Don't fall. Oh, cool. Hey, right, why, why him go down? Why Watch him, it out. There go. Why him go this down, Dad? Why him go down? Because he wants to see what everybody else is eating. Who ate it again? All right. You ready, buddy? You ready? Yeah. All so right. What you got to say? No, you have to help. Yeah. <laughs> you have to help you? Okay, like, like, subscribe, subscribe, turn on, turn on the notification. That's it. Bye, you. Bye, bye.